We're looking ahead as ESPN NBA front office insider Bobby Marks joins us now. Bobby, since free agency has opened, it has been eerily quiet in L.A. This is the chestnut checkers portion of the NBA season. So play grandmaster for us. What what is going on in L.A.'s front office? Well, we knew it was going to be relatively quiet because basically they had the, they had the taxpayer mid-level exception that they spent on a player like Lonnie Walker. And then they did a little bit of free agent shopping. Certainly here, Damian Jones, Juan Toscano Anderson, players signed to the veteran minimum exception here. Now, the big question is, how does this roster take that next step? And I think it starts certainly with What's the future of Russell Westbrook? $47 million, last year of his contract. If you're just going to get rid of Westbrook, a team like San Antonio that has cap space maybe to absorb him, it's going to cost you. First round picks. The wild card, what Laker fans would love, is Kyrie Irving. But Brooklyn's not doing an Irving for Westbrook swap. F for one thing, it would cost the Nets about $70 million in additional tax penalty. And the second thing is, younger, all-star, fits better here. So to incentivize them, likely two first-round picks here. And it's going to be up to the Lakers if they want to do that type of deal. So if that top-of-the-wish list item isn't available to them, what are the machinations that they can still improve this roster? Because, again, the gold standard is yeah. championships. That's what LeBron wants is rings. How do they take another step toward that if that ideal doesn't work out? Well, they still have the veteran minimum exception to go out and spend. They also have players like Talon Horton Tucker that you can potentially put in a deal. Kendrick Nunn, $15 million, gets you back about a $20 million player. Maybe a player like Eric Gordon is out there. But everything is going to cost you draft compensation. And I think when you have LeBron, and he's certainly in the last year of his contract, remember he's extension eligible in August. 2027 and 2029 first round picks don't mean anything. So you have to do everything right now to put a championship roster around him. Very compelling point of the year. And it's one of those things where you just can't go to sleep. Remember the Paul George Kawhi Leonard thing came about what three in the morning Eastern Conference time. Bobby, we thank you for always being on the clock and being here with us on SportsCenter. Thank